Hi, this introduction to the research outcome is designed to give you some idea about what the outcome is all about and get you to start to think about the kind of outcome you might produce from your research. So just a reminder that the assessment type one, the folio, the 30%, is for you to develop a research question and do some research into that, finding information about your particular topic and your research question from primary and secondary sources. The idea about the outcome is actually then to produce a resolution to that research question by bringing together all of your findings from your research um, into uh, either a product or your key findings, but then backing up uh, that with evidence from your research, both primary and secondary sources, so that the outcome is substantiated. Basically, what that refers to is that there is evidence from a range of sources that backs up your decisions for your product your findings for your outcome. The size of the outcome depends uh, on whether you're doing research project A or B. You can see here that research project A is 1500 words or 10, mi 10 minutes uh, if it's in a video or multi multimodal format and 2000 words or 12 minutes uh, for those other types. So let's have a look at what that would uh, end up being. So for a report, um, your folio, 10 pages that go for moderation, but it can obviously be a lot more research than what fits into 10 pages, is all of your information that you've gathered uh, to go towards resolving your research question. And that needs to be somehow transferred into the outcomes. And so the key thing here is we're looking at the process of what we call synthesis. So synthesis is about taking a whole lot of different bits of information and condensing them down, finding out what the important things are and bringing those together. So that's uh, where your key findings would come in in a report. So all of the different research you found, what were the key important things uh, about your topic or that led towards resolution of your question? Each of those key findings needs to be supported by evidence. And the more evidence you have and the greater the range of sources and the higher the validity and accuracy and reliability of those sources, uh, the better as well. And so in a report, you would basically uh, divide that up into your key findings and then the and then the evidence that supports those. Now those, of course, could be intermingled. You would have findings with evidence uh, always, um, and how you structure that is up to you, uh, but both things need to be in there. For some research projects, uh, you'd be looking more at a product of some sort. And so you do your research about how best to produce this product, and so the outcome from your research is a physical or digital product. But again, that needs to be supported by some evidence. Now, that's going to look a little bit different depending on what type of product you have. But really, it's around what's the evidence that you used from your research to make the choices you did about your product, whether it was the camera techniques that you used or the manufacturing techniques. So, for instance, your product might be uh, a series of slides explaining a particular topic with a narration that uh, goes through that, or some sort of video or film production or music video. Again, your supporting evidence would support some of the choices you made around that. It might be a community project and the supporting evidence being a journal that goes along uh, and backs up some of that stuff. A physical product like a piece of furniture, a magazine article or a blog article or a website. So any of these sorts of physical or digital products can also be the outcomes from your research project but they require uh, written supporting evidence, annotations, or something that goes along with them. And this is in order to provide evidence for the assessment. So when we look at the assessment, there are three uh, assessment criteria. S1, which is about synthesis of knowledge, skills, and ideas to produce a resolution to the research question. So this is how well you drew together all those different bits of information that create the knowledge, all those different learnings about the skills, all those different ideas, into something key, either those key findings or a product that shows your skill development or your knowledge development. S2 is about the substantiation of those key findings. So it's about the evidence that backs up your choices of findings, your choices in your product that were relevant to the research outcome. So how much evidence and what's the quality of that evidence? And the third thing is your expression of your ideas. So this is really around if you are putting together a report, how well is that expressed? If you are uh, having annotations to your product, how clearly are you able to show the reader um, how those choices were made 
and why the product is the way it is. So those are the only the three there that you're going to be assessed on.